Hey everybody, I'm Creed, and this is Creed Saturday Morning, episode 25. Today what I'm working on is Copter from Challenge of the GoBots. Challenge of the GoBots ran for 65 episodes in 1984, and it was an interesting battle between two toy companies. A lot of people don't realize it's a modern thing where people compare GoBots to Transformers. They say they're the low-rent Transformers. Uh, in the 80s, nobody cared about that. Everybody I knew liked GoBots and Transformers because they were great cartoons and okay toys. So I don't usually draw too many mechanical things like this. And what I realized was if I go too mechanical, if I do this all using straight, super straight tools and circles and stuff like that, then it's not going to have that soul that I like to put into my art. So what I do, I, and I still use some, some of the tools to straighten out some of the stuff, but I'm going with a more organic inking style for a non-organic subject, if that makes any sense. So a lot of the lines aren't perfect, but they're not perfect by design because I don't want a totally mechanical thing that looks like it was just done by a computer. So I try I tried to keep that hand done look even though it is all digitally done. But I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. And I even like the coloring job I did on this and I'm no colorist. Copter is probably my favorite GoBot. He's the most menacing one of the Renegades. Like, even the other renegades will say in the show, they're like, that copter, he doesn't care at all. He'll kill anybody. He's a cruel bastard. So when you hear that menacing sound of the copter coming your way, you better duck and cover because you're in for trouble. And I super love how he uses his blades as a sword, or then he just, he'll spin them and walk towards you. So copter was voiced by Bob Holt. Bob Holt did the voices for Grape Ape in Laugh Olympics. He was the king on the Smurfs. Uh, he was Mr. Seaworthy on the Snorks. But most notably to me, he did the voice of the Hulk in 1982's The Incredible Hulk, which is totally my version of the Hulk and one of the best cartoons. And actually I've, I've already done a villain from that. I did number one from Hulk's origin story on that cartoon. And I'm sure I'll draw more from that in the future. Now the story of the GoBots is actually really interesting. Because it's sort of accepted now. People just say, oh, they're just a Transformers ripoff. Uh, nope. Transformers was more successful. So they did win that toy battle. But GoBots toys came out first. And the GoBots cartoon came out nine days before Transformers. So they were basically made at the same time. And I'm actually going to run down some, some differences here to show how different the two cartoons were. So here's six differences between GoBots and Transformers. Difference number one. The GoBots were vehicles that turned into robots. The Transformers were robots that turned into vehicles. Difference number two. The GoBots are aliens from the robotic planet of Gobatron. And the Transformers are aliens from the robotic planet of Cybertron. Difference number three. When Psykill wants to get back to Gobatron, he uses the Astro Beam. But when Megatron wants to go back to Cybertron, he uses the Space Bridge. Difference number four, in the GoBots, there's a mad scientist named Dr. Braxis. In the Transformers, there's a mad scientist named Dr. Archibald. Difference number five, famous voice actor Frank Welker does the voice of Scooter in GoBots. But Frank Welker does the voice of Megatron on Transformers. Difference number six. The Renegades have an undersea headquarters, but the Decepticons have a deep sea base. Oh, wait, that one, that one there might be kind of similar. <laughs> so actually, there are, there are quite a few similarities in the show and, and in the storylines. But like I said, the sh cartoons were made at the same time, so I don't think anybody was copying. I think they were troubleshooting the same kind of story problems and come up with similar solutions. Now, if I had to grade both franchises, out of 100, I would give GoBots an 85, and I would give Transformers a 95. Because Transformers is a classic, but GoBots is highly underrated. And if you watch the cartoon, you will be entertained. Guaranteed. I especially love the first episodes, 
that have been made into the movie Battle for Gobatron. That's one of my favorite cartoon movies. And I really think there's room for both franchises. Yes, Transformers is one of the all-time classic shows of the 80s, but Challenge of the Gobots is a great show. And I'd recommend you check it out if you haven't seen it in a while. As always, in the description I'll have the link to buy it if you're looking for the show. And because there's so much Transformers content in this, I'll link to the Transformers set too. So Psykill's already in my gallery, and then here's Copter. So there's only one Renegade left, and she'll be in my she'll be in my second hundred set of villains. So I've got some more cool videos coming up, so keep an eye out for those, and until then, take her easy.